Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have successfully displayed the cart details page in this cart page. We are able to add the product to the cart and right now we are having only one cart or what? So if I click on again this one, yeah its cart is getting, quantity is getting updated, 3. Let's try to add another cart, if some, some another, another product we will try to add it. So here I am adding and if I click on this one also add to cart. And if I go to the cart page, yeah, it's already redirected to cart page. I'm here, yeah, I'm able to see the cart also. So these are the list of all the cart details which I am trying to show you. So it's working fine without any problem. And we are able to show the total price of this one, the cart of this particular product, and also the total cart price also we are showing. Okay. So fine, it's looking fine. So now when I click on this delete cart, I need to make this delete cart also to work for, to work. So if I click on this delete, it, it will not work right now. So let's try to work on this one. If I go to here, the delete cart item is nothing but this page, this function only. So here this time we are trying to delete it from the file. So right now we'll change it. So first in order to delete a product from a cart, first we need to get the cart details. In order to get the cart details, what we need to do? We need to do request.user.getCart. So this is the thing which I need to use. So request.user.getCart. <coughs> We will get the cart details. This returns a promise as you already know. And this returns a cart. I will try to show you two different ways how we can achieve this one. So this returns the cart. And now after getting the cart details, what I need to do? I need to get the product, whether that product is existing with that car, uh, in that cart or not. For getting that one, what I need to do? Return cart dot get products of where ID so this one is where id is product id i got the cart details also i got the cart details and i got the uh, i got the product item and here dot then and i can use again then so i got the product so what i can do so using this product i can do return product so this time you will be getting actually this one products why because you will be getting up area of product we know that here it will be returning only one product so what i can do is products of zero dot destroy so i can destroy means it is nothing but delete these are all magic methods present in the sequelize so i am de destroying this one after destroying this i can do nothing but rest dot redirect of cart that's it if any problem comes if any problem comes here so dot catch you will get an error and this one will show console.log of error console.log of error that's it so now what we are doing first we are trying to get the card details in that card details we are trying to get that product which we want to delete the product in the card and after getting that product we are de deleting this one and after deleting this one we are redirecting to the cart again if i try to show you delete it is automatically deleted see if I try to refresh and if I add another another product here, so I will try to add another product here. And oh, this product is added. Only one product is there. Okay. Add product. And here also I am trying to add another product. I am trying to add here. So right now we have three products. Let's try to add to cart. Okay. And I think this one, if I click on the delete, so if I go to the home page, okay, this product is getting destroyed. So here we should not do it like this. Actually, what I did was the mistake is I am trying to delete the product, not the cart product. Here we are getting the product detail and we are trying to delete the product. We should not delete the product. In that product, I want to de destroy this one, not cart item dot destroy. Okay products of zero dot cart item dot destroy let's try to see now this one works or not so if i go here if i refresh this page and add cart so here i am adding again so if i try to add a product so this time we are having three products okay if now i will try to delete this one 123 has been deleted i'll go to the home page now this time the product is existing fine right so now the only the cart item is getting destroyed not the product item now here if i click on the add to cart it is going to the home cart page and add to cart now we are able to show it and add to cart we are able to show everything so if i click on the delete so only one product is got deleted if i refresh cart is there 
home page all the three products are there without any problem we are able to get all the things so this is one way of deleting all the at all the products the products in the cart so we can also do in another way also so the another way is nothing but so we got the card details okay we got the card details and instead of getting this card details so what i can do is so another way is what we can do is so here we got the card details and first we need to check that whether the product is actually existing in the cart or not so for that one what i can do is so here i can have fetched card so this is another way so this is also we can do it and that one also we can do it first i am trying to find the product whether it is existing or not product dot find by pk so product dot find by pk so here first what we'll try to do is we'll try to get find by pk so primary key so for which one with the product id so now i got the product thing and now what i will try to do is so i need to do i need to remove this product right if the product is existing now i am getting a single product not this time multiple product and here what i will try to do is fetched card so i got the fetched card dot remove product so i can use remove product so there will be a magic method present for this one remove product and i need to pass that product and here i don't have this fetched card why because this card cannot be uh, cannot be accessible in this in this promise resolve so here i can use fetched card is equal to card okay so fetched card is equal to card now we got fetched card remove product and all the things yeah that that's it so now if i try to see the output the same output it will come but this time we have achieved that one in a different way okay, what happened time again so problem or what it's starting so let it start let's refresh once again what happened for this one sometimes okay so now we should get output yeah we got the output and i will go went into the cart and i deleted this cart the cart got deleted the product got deleted and here the product is still existing so i click on the add to cart i'm able to add it here and click on add to cart i'm able to add it here this time the product with the quantity of four i am trying to delete it so if i delete this one automatically this one got deleted and these are the two items these are two items we are having and if i go to the home page the products is also existing so this is how we will be deleting the cart <coughs> cart product details in the cart page so right now we have successfully completed the cart page adding a product to the cart displaying the cart details and also the deleting the cart also we have did it so hope you understood about this one and also we have seen how we can delete the cart detail product in a in two different ways you have seen anything is okay so anything is better for you so it's not a problem so this is how we will be deleting the product in the cart if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you